this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's A Wonderful World. As always, I'm here starting off inside of my treetop hotel, uh, but I won't be staying here for long because uh, today, uh, what I've decided uh, to try and do is to try and battle the twins again. Uh, I've battled uh, the, uh, the twins before, and uh, by the fact that I'm battling them again, uh, you can probably assume uh, that the uh, the battle didn't go too well. <laughs> and so uh, the first thing I need to do is I think I need to, to upgrade uh, where I'm going to be battling them. Uh, so let me go and show you my little battle arena. I'm sure uh, most of you have seen it before, but just in case you haven't, I kind of just want to talk through uh, what my plans are. So uh, I've got a new material, asphalt which I can now use. I was thinking of adding some asphalt on the, the floor because uh, it allows me to run quicker and maybe some just at the top here somewhere. Maybe I could have like an extra platform up here somewhere with asphalt uh, just so I can uh, dodge the uh, the attacks of the twins. And also something else that I wanted to do uh, was to try and uh, use some statues. And I wasn't aware of this until very recently, but you can actually use statues uh, to give yourself things. And let me try and uh, let me try and show you what I mean. Let's go and uh, grab my pick here for now then and uh, I think the I think it's the heart statue and then the the star statue uh, one gives you health and uh, one gives you magic so obviously the the heart gives you health I'm guessing and then the the star gives you magic I don't know do you reckon the potion one gives you anything uh, I don't think so I don't know maybe possibly does and so I think we need to activate it I think we need to do uh, some some wiring to, to be able to, to activate it, I think. So uh, let's just go and take this to the arena and uh, let's give it a go. Because if this uh, is true, uh, then this could be very helpful. So let's go and take uh, a couple of these pressure plates. Uh, let's go and grab these wires as well. And uh, then also let's go and uh, grab the, uh, the wrench, which I use to place my wires. And the wire cutters, which I use to cut my wires. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious, doesn't it? Alright, so let's go over there and let's go and have a go at doing that. Oh yeah, and I've also got some asphalt on me already so I can start laying that down. So uh, then all I need to do is uh, go and make a whole load of potions and then I should be ready. I've been looking uh, to make, oh, I've just realized I'm, I'm using my rubbish pickaxe. I've got my new one here. I'm not used to using it yet. Yeah, I've been looking at uh, some better armor and weapons and things that I could get, uh, but I don't really know what else better I could get now. Like, there seems to be all sorts of better armor and weapons that I could get eventually, uh, but uh, most of them uh, involve me having to having uh, already defeated uh, most of the uh, the mechanical bosses. So I don't think there's too much better I can get. And so I thought, why wait around? Why don't I just get better at fighting and uh, try and take out the, the twins already? So if I go and put down these pressure plates here right next to the uh, the things. Actually, if I put it literally directly next to it, do I even need wires? Okay, nothing is uh, happening there. I've not looked up any guides or anything for this, so I'm kind of just completely guessing. Let's just go and uh, put some wires in like this. Is this gonna... Oh, look at that! There we go! It now fires out hearts. Let's go and uh, grab this one here then, and uh, let's go and put this on the, the other side. Whoa, it suddenly <laughs> grew quite a lot, didn't it? Let's go and place this one uh, down here, and let's go and do the, the same here with the, the wrench. And is this going to fire out? There we go, that fires out magic. Oh, this is going to be so useful. So I reckon that I can't do it constantly, but that is going to be really useful. So anytime uh, I'm low on health, I can kind of go to this level, and I can go and uh, grab some hearts from there. And yeah, look, you see it didn't work then? I reckon you've got to wait uh, a few seconds until you can use it again but still that is going to be very useful just because of that I'm already feeling a little bit more confident because to be honest last time I fought them I didn't even get close to being able to defeat them and I don't think I did great like I don't think it was oh they're so tough and I didn't have good enough items I think you know a big factor was the fact that I had no idea what I'm doing but now I do well now I know a little bit more what I'm doing because I've uh, fought them before I know a little bit more uh, what to uh, expect so I've got a new strategy my plan is rather than just attacking them both generally I'm going to try and completely take out one half of the twins but well, one of the twins and then I'm going to go and do the the second one afterwards because I was kind of just hitting them both randomly and I got them both a little bit weak but I wasn't able to completely take out either one of them so my plan is uh, is to just uh, pick one of them and uh, just target it and uh, not worry about the the other one uh, until uh, one of them is uh, completely defeated so let's now uh, go and uh, put these down here I don't really need uh, to worry about you slime because you are absolutely useless so <laughs> I'm gonna just ignore you as you jump around and uh, let's go and add this asphalt So as I said, uh, this asphalt allows you to run super duper fast So uh, this should make it uh, a lot easier uh, for me to, to dodge attacks I didn't realize uh, how much the uh, the twins uh, were going to, to fire at me uh, when I first fought them uh, So I didn't know how uh, important 
important dodging uh, was actually going to, to end up being. So let's go and uh, fill in that little bit of dirt. I'm not going to worry about putting the, the door down, actually, because that could uh, get a, a little bit annoying. And let's go and get rid of this uh, other little bit of uh, asphalt here. And let's actually take out these slimes as well, because they're getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> they can't really hurt me, but they do get a little bit annoying. But now you can see I can run much faster. I could actually add some more in uh, up here somewhere. If I go back to the house and uh, make some more asphalt, which I just need, uh, I think it's gel and stone, I think was there to make this stuff. I'm just going to put just just for now uh, a temporary, probably pretty ugly platform. Uh, as I said, just for now. And then that way uh, it's going to allow me to... Um, uh, just be able to run around up there. So if I do start getting really weak and I kind of just want to run away for just a second uh, then I can go and just run onto that that big pat uh, platform and uh, hopefully be okay. So let's go into my brand new steampunk room. Doesn't this look cool? This is what we did in the last episode and I'm uh, rather happy uh, with how it ended up. And uh, let's go and make some some asphalt. I can see uh, this is where it is here. And uh, let's go and make, so I had 80 before. Let's go and grab about 200. Uh, here we go. I got slightly under 200. 181 uh, on me. So let's go and uh, build some platforms and then after that uh, I want to go and try and uh, make myself some potions just some uh, iron skin potions and uh, uh, a few other things uh, just to, to make me a little bit uh, more prepared and then I should be ready uh, for round number two so I don't want to do the the top layer here asphalt just because I don't want to be banging my head on it um, I guess I could leave a little bit of a, a gap Maybe I could do a platform there and then do... Uh, actually, no, let's just do them coming out the, the side here. Maybe just on one side here. Uh, so I know this is going to look really ugly and not fit in with the uh, the rest of the style. Uh, then again, there's not much style here already. But uh, let's just go and uh, add this uh, along here. And uh, then that way, if I need to run away really fast just to get my health back a bit, I can just run this way. And oh, I also got something else. I got the um, uh, something I had already, but I've put it on now. I had a, a regeneration band thing. Uh, yeah, band of regeneration, which makes my health go up quicker. And I've also put a, uh, a cobalt shield on, uh, so then that way uh, I won't be uh, knocked back as much. So hopefully uh, that's going to help me out a little bit better uh, as well. So there's all of these little things. There's not one big thing uh, which is making me stronger, like I haven't got a better sword or, you know, better armor than last time. Uh, but all of these little things uh, should hopefully uh, all add up together uh, just to make it so I have a little bit more of a, uh, a fighting chance uh, when I go up against them for, for round number two. So I might as well uh, just place this asphalt the, uh, the entire way along here. I might actually put a little um, a little wall at the end uh, so I don't charge straight off. Actually, I guess if I charge straight off, I can just fly back on, so that doesn't matter. That actually might help me dodge them, so uh, if, even if it comes down to it, I might just run straight up here and uh, only use this platform. I think if I just ran back and forth like this and just fired my laser like this, that's got to be hard to hit. i got to be a difficult thing to hit when I'm going that fast. <laughs> and then I can just come back here and uh, get more health and uh, and things as well. I also got these light discs as well. I don't think I had these last time, so uh, these are actually pretty powerful as well. Uh, it'd be better if I had more of them, uh, but I can't make any more yet, uh, but they're still uh, pretty handy. So let's go and uh, empty out my pockets uh, of uh, a lot of this little rubbish, because I don't want to be uh, worrying about that while I'm battling, uh, when I'm trying to switch between items, and then I'm going to go and try and make myself uh, as many potions as I can. So let's get rid of these uh, wire cutters and my rent and the actual wires themselves, and let's go and throw away the, the stone and the gel and some of these uh, uh, these other things. Is this the jail one? Yes. I'm getting very good at learning what goes where. Uh, there's a long time where I had no idea. There are still lots of chests which are just full of just random stuff. If I show you some of these ones, yeah, these are just things. You know, this is my keys, shark fins, and cyan husk, you know, chess, you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not particularly well organized, but I've kind of just about learned uh, roughly where things will go. So I know that the stone is going to be one of those bottom chests there. I don't know exactly which one, uh, but I can look through them and uh, find out. Anyway, let's go and uh, start sorting out my potions now because I want to start the battle uh, as soon as it becomes night. So I want to be ready. So I got a few already. I got, oh, I, I do have one iron skin potion. Uh, I got a night owl potion and an archery potion. So let's go and uh, a shine potion would be nice uh, just so I can see a little bit better so let's go uh, over to, to potions and uh, just see what we want to, to make thorns would be okay uh, let's make a shine one so we need a, uh, a glowing mushroom a day bloom and of course a, a bottle of water so uh, we've got all of these bottles of water here uh, and then it was a, uh, a day bloom as well. Let's go and grab one of these and then a, uh, a glowing mushroom. It's much easier uh, having all of these items there ready. So now I can go make myself a shine potion. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Magic power potion increases magic damage. Uh, that's quite good. So we need a, uh, a moon glow, a death weed and a fallen star. So uh, let's go and get a, a moon glow. Uh, where's the uh, where's the 
death weed. Do I have any death weed here? This is a blink root. I might need to. Oh no, here we go. This is death uh, weed here, isn't it? And uh, a fallen star as well. Just one of them. And uh, I've already got bottles of water, so that can make my uh, magic power potions. That's going to make uh, my magic uh, better. Oh, swiftness potion increases movement speed speed by 25%. Uh, a cactus and blink root. Uh, so uh, blink root is here and then uh, we got cactus there as well I am just gonna go and drink all of these potions right before we start and uh, hopefully once again uh, That's gonna give me a bit of a, an added advantage. I did of course uh, have a few potions last time uh, But nothing uh, compared to uh, to what I'm doing now. So let's just do a, uh, a fawns potion as well So we need uh, death weed and cactus for this one. Uh, no problem at all one death weed and one cactus uh, let's go and uh, make this one and uh, now we have uh, our fawns potion uh, as well So this should be everything we need. I still have plenty of healing potions. Yep I got 22 uh, healing potions. Uh, so now I should be uh, I should be pretty much ready So let's go and uh, empty out uh, a few more of these things and uh, just start organizing my inventory then so uh, I don't need the uh, the pickaxe that can go uh, I got the the beam sword and then the um uh, what's this one called? The the hollowed repeater I have in my quick select, so I don't need to worry about them. So I got my Nimbus rod, I got my um my KO cannon, which um I'm probably not going to use this actually. I think that's good against big groups of enemies. Uh, probably not so good against this. So uh, these are my two magic items: my Nimbus uh, rod and my uh, laser rifle. I'm going to use. I've also got my light discs, uh, which I'm going to use. Oh, actually the um. Those daggers as well, these are really good as well. So let's go and have all of them uh, at hand there. And of course my sword if things uh, get hairy and I have to go quite close. And uh, then I just have all of my potions. I'm just going to put all of these in a row uh, so I can quickly drink them. I'm going to get rid of the, the magic mirror uh, because I don't want to, to magic mirror accidentally. And oh, something I totally forgot about. I need to make the um, I need to make the, the mechanical eye. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's what I, I'm going to use uh, to spawn it in. So uh, what do I need to make that? I need lenses. I think it's uh, three lenses. And then there's iron and I think six souls of light. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six uh, of these. And then I think, is it five iron? I th I'm pretty sure it's five iron. One, two, three, four, five. I think this is everything I need uh, in order to, to make it. And can I make it from... Can I make it from a, a workbench or do I need to go down to a demon altar? I'm not sure. I'm hoping I can make it from uh, here, but let's uh, go and see. And if I just scroll down until I can see the, the mechanical eye, uh, then hopefully it will tell me what I need. I'm worried because uh, if I could make it now, it would normally be at the, the top. So that's just, um, oh no, I just need an anvil. There we go. So I don't need to go down to a demon altar. I only need to go upstairs here uh, to, to one of these anvils. I was panicked then. I'd have to go and run downstairs. So there we go. I have now made myself uh, the the mechanical eye. So I think I'm going to drink all the the potions and uh, then spawn it in afterwards. So let's go now and uh, head straight over to my uh, my battle arena uh, where I can be uh, ready uh, to start uh, round two of Stampy Cat uh, versus the twins. And wee! <laughs> this is so much more fun being able to <laughs> go along there like that. Uh, I think I'm going to start off. Um, I start off high up here uh, on this area around here. I think I think this will be a, a good place to to spawn it in. I just want to make sure that it's uh, definitely night uh, before I spawn it in. So I don't want, do I want all the potions immediately? We got shine, we got night vision, and all these other things, and then uh, the fawns as well. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go uh, literally in a row, drink every single one, <laughs> and then go and uh, spawn it in uh, straight away after that. So I just need it to be uh, definitely night, and I think it's uh, almost night. Uh, but not a uh, hundred percent yet. So let's just go and have a, a little bit of a, a practice running and jumping around here. What happens when I get to the end? Can I easily go? Yep, I guess I can kind of loop around like this and then go and just land back on the other side and then run back this way. I think if I kind of do that sort of move and keep going back and forth, I think I'll uh, eventually uh, be able to, to wear it down if I just continually uh, shoot at it uh, with all of my ranged weapons. I've only got Jester's arrows and they do nine damage, but that's not... That's not amazing. It's fine, uh, but it's not anything uh, amazing. So I think I'm mainly going to stick to laser rifle and uh, just putting the, the Nimbus rods everywhere. The Nimbus rods uh, were amazing against the... Um, oh, what's the other boss? The uh, the Destroyer? Was that what it was called? Uh, yeah, I, th I think it was that one. The one that was the big worm, the big mechanical worm one. It was amazing uh, because the worm was so big, it was kind of just constantly getting hurt as I went around. So that was amazing. And uh, something else I kind of want to do is... Uh, oh, look, there's some werewolves around here. I'm just going to go and put some torches along here as well. 
well, just so I can uh, see what I'm doing, uh, because it has become night now. And I'm just going to take up this werewolf as well, just because uh, this might be a bit of a pain. These werewolves are uh, are pretty tough. And look, look how much health uh, that has uh, taken down already. <laughs> I haven't even started the, the fight yet, and I'm already getting a little bit weak. But I'm not going to wait around. Uh, let's just go and uh, drink all of the, the potions, because uh, it should now uh, definitely be night. I can see the, the moon rising in the background there. So I got shine, uh, archery, uh, night owl. Uh, magic, uh, that one, iron skin, and then I got fawns, and then the last thing is to spawn in the, the boss itself. So there we go. The eyes have awoken. So let's go and uh, put in a, a few of these Nimbus clouds in immediately, and then let's try the, the old uh, technique then of just going uh, back and forth like that. Um... It might be a little bit harder than I thought, and I've already uh, run out of uh, magic, actually. So let's go and just uh, switch over uh, to using this instead, and uh, this might work, actually. I think I'm just going to keep constantly firing, uh, even though I won't be hitting it too well. Uh, hopefully some of these uh, arrows uh, will wander past and actually be able to, to take them out. I think one of the eyes uh, tries to get in close and uh, try and hurt you by hitting you, and then the, the other one uh, fires lasers and things at it. So I don't know how much damage I'm doing against it, uh, but it's not doing too much damage against me. So I will I will settle for that. Uh, I'm not doing a, a particularly great job at dodging though, uh, but I'm not taking too much damage, uh, so I'm not going to to moan. And actually, uh, my uh, uh, my um, uh, magic has got to folly back up. Actually, I'm getting really hurt now. Let's go and uh, try using the uh, the old statue then, shall we? If we go down uh, this way here, uh, let's see if I can go and uh, uh, go to the the statue if I can. It's kind of dangerous. There we go. That got my uh, health up a little bit more, and I can also go and uh, drink a, a health potion. So here we go. My health is now. Uh, pretty much uh, completely uh, full again, which is uh, handy. And if I kind of keep dodging this way, try and run away from it, I realize I keep just kind of running to it. I just need to <laughs> try and uh, back off a little bit more. So once again, I'm not hurting it very much, uh, but it's not hurting me very much e uh, either. So uh, hopefully, if I just keep this up for long enough, I will uh, eventually uh, be able to, to wear it down enough uh, to where I'll be able to, to take it out. So let's go and try and aim a little bit lower. I think I need to, to probably aim a little bit more. I feel like I don't have enough thumbs. I feel like to move and jump and shoot and do all these things at the same time, I feel like uh, I need uh, a few more thumbs. Let's try and go high and try and loop over it. It actually goes so fast. I was I thought that I'd be moving so fast doing this uh, that there'd be no way for it to, to catch up with me, but it seems to be uh, even faster than I am. And it uh, uh, looks like my magic has uh, gone back up again. And I don't actually seem to be doing too much damage. Considering I got uh, all of these potions, uh, my damage doesn't actually seem to be uh, going up too much higher uh, than it would normally be. And I'm getting really hurt now. Luckily, I was able to, to just about uh, have a, uh, another healing potion there. And I can come down here again, and I can go to this heart here. And I can also go over here, and uh, this is going to get my magic up. There we go. That's pretty much uh, put my magic back up to full. Uh, so I can go and use my uh, laser rifle for uh, a little bit again. And now I'm starting to actually do a, a little bit of damage. And I also can't forget uh, that I got my, my beam sword as well. So if we do end up getting close, I can use that. Because uh, that is uh, probably by far my strongest weapon. And oh, actually the, uh, the light discs as well. I can go and use these. I don't actually believe that these use magic either. So these are going to be kind of handy. If I just sort of keep throwing them uh, all around in the, the air everywhere. Uh, these actually might be a good way of doing some some damage as well. And the uh, the band of regeneration uh, should be doing a, a good job of making my health uh, go up quicker than it normally would. But these discs, uh, I don't know. I, I, they seem to do a lot of damage, uh, but I don't I don't hit very much. I don't seem to <laughs> to actually hit it very much. I actually run away so fast uh, that it's kind of it's kind of hard for me to to get the uh, the light discs back uh, after I've uh, already thrown them. So uh, let's go back and uh, use the the laser rifle for a bit. That seemed to be the uh, the weapon that has done the the most damage so far. I need to have a, another healing potion here as well, and then let's just keep backing off and firing. I'm gonna run back down here again and uh, try and get my my health and my magic back up. I'm gonna switch to the the beam sword uh, while I'm inside this area here, uh, so that way if I do get close, I should be able to hurt it a little bit. There we go. I charge straight through it there. If I just fire behind it, uh, hopefully it's just charging straight after me, and I'll be able to do some damage. I'm also gonna try and spawn in uh, a few more of these clouds. If I go quite high, I can spawn them in quite high up. And so that should mean that no matter where it is, I'll be able to do a, a little bit of damage. And I'm actually starting to, to wear it down. Uh, you can see one of them uh, at least has got very low health. Uh, my strategy of uh, trying to completely uh, take out one before doing the other, I don't think that's going to work yet because, um, uh, yeah, I don't really have much aim. I'm just firing. I'm just basically firing off this, the side of the screen and uh, hoping that I'm going to hit it. And oh, I ran out of uh, Jester arrows as well. I'm now uh, using Unholy arrows, uh, which aren't actually as strong as the, uh, the other 
other ones were, but it's okay. I still have my laser rifle, uh, which I think uh, doesn't do as much damage, uh, but I can shoot it so fast. Uh, it's actually uh, really uh, effective anyway, but I keep running out of magic so fast. I can't believe uh, how quickly I run out of magic. So let's go uh, back down here and uh, try and get both uh, up my health and magic again. And you can see one of them has uh, gone to its uh, next form as well, which means that it's going to be uh, even stronger uh, than it was before. But I can keep backing off here and uh, shooting my laser. Hopefully I was hitting it okay then. This is such a big epic fight. It's going on for so long. I just want to make sure uh, that it doesn't become day because if it becomes day, uh, that's going to be uh, difficult uh, because I think it might actually despawn. So I want to make sure uh, that if I do take it out, I'm going to try and try and do it tonight. But you can see the uh, the moon in the background. There is a uh, starting to, to slowly go down so I definitely want to go and uh, as soon as I can uh, try and finish it off. It seems though that this one that's gone to its next form as well as going crazy shooting that green stuff at me it seems to have a better defense now. It seems to be uh, much harder uh, to, to hurt it at all. Let's try using these these magic daggers then. I've not really uh, had a, a much of a, a go with them and uh, maybe throwing them in the air so they drop down uh, might be quite effective. I just seem to run out of my magic so fast uh, it's really difficult and my health uh, is starting to go quite low as well now so I'm going to try and loop back round and I'm going to go back uh, inside of the uh, my little battle arena down here and I'm going to go and try and stand on uh, this again uh, to try and get my health up there we go that got my health up quite a bit and I can go get my magic uh, up to almost full uh, again immediately as well let's go and try and throw some of these daggers then if I just throw them up in the air uh, hopefully uh, a good amount of them uh, are going to be able to to hit it and I am allowed uh, to have a, a healing potion as well so I'm actually getting less worried uh, about getting killed and a little bit more worried about running out of time and oh no, Woo! that was close. I got so unbelievably hurt then. So unbelievably hurt. And that green thing, it's that green thing. It does so much damage against me. Right, I can't have a, a health potion either. I need to charge down here and I need to get this health. And oh no, it didn't give me any health. It, I've only got half a heart. I've got half a heart left. Right, the only choice I have is to run. Is just to run and dodge as best as I can. Right, let's try and do a big loop around. Can I get over it? Is this going to work? Oh, I'm just about able to dodge it again. And I can't have any healing potions for another 30 seconds. Please give me hearts. Give me hearts. Oh, it only gives me a couple of them. <laughs> I think I need uh, to put down uh, a few more of them. And oh, no, it took me out. I was taken out. I can go and uh, charge back over there as fast as I can and just see if there's any chance it's still there. Uh, but I think that's uh, very likely. I think uh, it might have just gone and run away. You can hear the uh, the music's gone all nice and peaceful yet again, which means uh, I think it's uh, gonna be here no uh, no more. And it's almost day anyway as well. As I think once it became day, uh, it would have uh, gone anyway. So um, yeah, we can still see there's clouds here and there's uh, a few of my coins and uh, werewolves come out here as well. Must be a full moon or something. Uh, but sadly, uh, there is um, uh, no remnant of the um, of the uh, the twins left here uh, anymore so um, that was good that was a good that was a good fight I did okay I survived nicely uh, for much longer than I did the last time and I was able uh, to do a, a decent amount of damage and maybe uh, if I did a little bit of a better dodge uh, then I might have been able to survive uh, even longer uh, but I do think I need to rethink my strategy uh, a little bit more um I don't know maybe if I can get some better armor or something but it's really hard uh, to get any better armor uh, without um, uh, taking out these bosses. So what I could do is I could actually uh, try uh, continually taking out the uh, the destroyer as uh, soon as I know actually how to do that and then I could try and make some hollowed armor uh, which would make me uh, a little bit stronger and oh I just got I just got a mysterious thing then. Let's go into a magic mirror back to the house and to see what exactly uh, I was able to, to find then. Uh, I found the um, uh, the moon charm, the intrepid moon charm. Uh, turns the holder into a werewolf at night. Really? Do I put it in here? Or do I actually just have to, to use it maybe? Uh, it is nighttime just about now, so I don't know how to... I don't know how to do it. It just turns the holder into a werewolf at night. Let's just put it here and uh, let's go outside and uh, let's see if I, I turn into a, a werewolf or not. Let's go and uh, give it a go. I think it might just uh, be uh, becoming day now, so it might not actually work. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to go and try and take out the uh, the destroyer and uh, I'm going to try and do it as a werewolf, <laughs> which uh, should be jolly good fun. I guess it makes me uh, stronger when I'm uh, a werewolf. Uh, this could actually be... Uh, very handy. Uh, so let's go and uh, give that a go in the uh, the next episode. Uh, but sadly, we have just about run out of time now. Uh, so I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.